because a robot would not do what an umpire did to JT Real Muto yesterday, unless oh, yeah. there was a glitch in the system. Like a robot, unless artificial intelligence had short-circuited and got enraged at a catcher, uh, because what happened yesterday, if you did not see this video, Stu guys, have all of you seen this? Because uh, JT Real Muto, and I don't know what preceded this, I don't know what the context is, but he just held up his glove to grab the ball from the umpire, a fresh ball from the umpire, and then because he had his back to the ump, he just moved his glove down for a second, and the ump missed putting the ball in his glove and then was so embarrassed by that that he took it as a sign of disrespect and then ejected one of the, the best catcher in the National League. Uh, ejected a guy, and now it's not a it's not a real game. It's a spring training game, but that is a he guy. He did him a favor, honestly. Yes, honestly, yes. The heat, the the equipment. He did do. <laughs> what a great favor! Yes, both of them could improve their brands here because Real Muto looks genuinely confused by why did I just get ejected there? I was just trying to take the ball from you the way that I always do. It seems like JT's playing a little game of cat and mouse though with the umpire. Got to be. He was trying to get ejected. No. Well, the gloves possibly. there. The ump puts the ball there. Well, he didn't feel the ball. He moves the glove before he gets the ball. So I mean, my my it, understanding of what happened is prior mouse, prior or? to that the umpire had just been throwing the ball straight back to the pitcher. So JT I guess maybe out of instinct reached back for the umpire to hand him the ball. And since the umpire had been throwing the ball directly to the pitcher, it puts down his glove. Then the umpire went to give him the ball, and that's kind of where that confusion was. I think JT if he's been ejected from one game in his career might be high. So it's not characteristic of JT to go after an he's umpire. He's kind of maximum professional, isn't he's he? He's the most mild-mannered guy I've met in baseball. Like, he has no emotions. He just... He, and, oh, and, uh, look at me, Lily. It's man. fair. Oh, sorry. All right. He's All right. not even yelling at the up. Right. He's having an adult conversation. You're right. I mean, no. Turn around, like, me, what, like yeah. what happened? Billy, I'm going to need some help here, okay? Because Chris Cody's trying, moving man. a little too slow, and you whispering while covering your mouth. To Chris Cody, look at me, Louie, when we can all hear you except for him. I'm going to need you. If you're going to puppeteer like that, evil cat. you need to do it well. I mean, or you can move faster. I'm a helpful cat. We've moved on now. Bishop to Rook 9, he admits he's a cat. Uh, go sit in the penalty box. Oh, boy. But Who? Uh, uh, Tony. What? But to your point on this, I don't, I, don't, I don't want Chet to look at how happy he is. Two minutes for talking look, chess. Look, he I just mean, checkmated you. Yeah. He checkmated you, and he's so happy about checkmating you because he he lives to undermine. You got to go sit in there. Don't, don't yell at me. Bishop you, to Rook just 10. Because you got, <laughs> just because you got tricked by Billy, and Billy enjoyed tricking you. I didn't get tricked. Get out of here. But to your guys' point on this JT Rumito thing, he does seem to be smirking in this video yeah. to totally. the umpire, as yes. if there was, as if there was a little something like, "Hey, can you help me out here? Right, I got give plans." Me, yeah. Give me the context. Is is, is Stugatz right? Even though he doesn't know whether he's using cat and mouse game correctly, no idea. Yeah. Is Stugatz correct with no information, no reporting, no context that JT Real Muto did that on purpose to <laughs> to embarrass on an umpire who immediately, like, I, like, if you have not seen this, let me explain. Something something to you because it is laughable in how much ego there is here and real muto looks like a great actor afterward because he seems genuinely confused but real muto has his back but not angry not yes. angry yeah. high has, season has his back to the umpire holds out his glove and then the umpire turns around immediately as the ball hits the ground turns his back to a real muto who is not <laughs> looking now they're back to back they're back to back, and the umpire saying, "You get out of the game," even though the only one who can't see that in the world is Real Muto, because he's the only one with his back to the umpire. He threw him out before the ball hit the ground. But he's, he's asking for the ball. I don't know how it works with a catcher's mitt, but I'm assuming you feel it when the ball hits the glove, right? Yes. I mean, JT knows he didn't get the ball. No, no, he, gave, he gave up on waiting for it. He so put he put it away like that. Yeah. Disrespectful. That was orchestrated. That yeah. whole thing okay. was orchestrated. No, it was no, not. The two it. of them were in cahoots. Really? Okay. No, I guarantee it. You know how I know guarantee that's not the case? It. You, you guarantee can, it. I guarantee it. You can tell on this umpire's face. Bank it. You've, I've seen this look on my dad, where my dad, I do and something. you know it. I say something to my dad. <laughs> And his reaction is just over the top yeah. ridiculous. And then he quickly realizes, oh, I overreacted yeah. to that. So in this umpire's face, you can see he ejects him. He turns around. Real Muto explains what happened. And he has a moment of, oh, crap. But I well, can't but I can't turn my... I, you I can't realize undo an ejection. He, he has well, this is what would never happen with a robot. This, You are so right about this. I want you guys to imagine. I want you to imagine putting down the male umpiring ego. And him just turning around and realizing, oh, no, I immediately got this wrong. I take it back. 
right. But he had, no, he had to double fun. down on the ejection. He's just like, I, I'm looking at you. I'm wrong, but I can't switch Fists it. Fists on hips. Yes. I cannot overturn this. I've already made a fool of myself. Can I, be, can I be honest with you? This is one, because you're saying that this would not happen with robots. I 100% agree. And by the way, it's one of my things in the column. And I'm not like an anti-replay guy. But if I was, this would be at the top of the list. I miss the manager running out and running things amok. You know what I mean? I miss the them best. going out there, kicking dirt on home plate, throwing bases, <laughs> doing all kinds of things. And you can't do that with replay anymore. Now all you, you can't get even... is this. Yeah, you can't even you go out the there. Dugout. And, you can't even go out there and talk to the umpire anymore because you get ejected immediately. So you, there's no. We've lost some of the gravitas, the performance of being a manager. That was a thing, Dan. Back in the day, you know, because we always talk about how important is a manager in baseball. They really just make pitching changes, right? Back in the day, it was a performance. Do you want to do back in my day here? I think uh, yeah, you're, no, you're no, now I'm an just, old man. You're I'm now an old him, baseball well, man. If you I, could do a back in the day, uh, an umpire could go out. Lou Pinella could go out and throw a base into center field. That was, I, I mean, I, uh, I don't know this for a fact. Lou. You guys could tell me more than you've covered sports longer than I have. I feel like back in the day, part of being a base, like an interview process for being a manager was show us what you do if something doesn't go your way. That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, Earl managers Weaver. were hired on that fact. Yeah. Earl Weaver yeah. kicking dirt on the plate. Nobody does that anymore. No. Nope. Bring back Earl Weaver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Juju, put on the poll at Levitard Show. Do you uh, miss the enraged manager running out on the field as an adult and, uh, you know, making a fool of himself? <laughs> it's sad now. All you get is the, ump the, the manager in the dugout okay. holding up play. I don't and uh, we're, we're checking this. Yeah. It's like, no, go out there and yell at him. I want to see some personality. I'm well, with you, you guys. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing Part stopping, of the game. There's nothing yeah. stopping them from going out there. And yeah. while they're seeing if they want to challenge, go argue the call. Like the Once we move to robot umps, are there going to be no more people getting tossed out of games? Because the robot's not going to be able to have that, like, jurisdiction. You're of, like, out of getting, here. Get out of here. <laughs> what if you just go unplug the robot? Ooh. <laughs> As if there's an extension cord. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Is that murder? And would, would the punishment, if you punch a robot in the face, or is that punished worse than if you did it to a, a human? You might heart? hurt your hand. No. Yeah, you'd hurt your no. Hand. What do you mean? Why, why would Dangerous they, what? game. Yeah. What are you talking I'm about? It would One be of them punished just less. One of them's just breaking equipment. Right. That's They're my point, is that we would see more players punching, because it's like, I can't punch I Angel Hernandez. I can't punch Angel Hernandez because that will lead Sports Center for five days. Yeah. Well, who's going to feel bad for a robot where if this is a bad call? Yeah! Real Muto uh, would have been within his rights to disassemble a robot umpire that did that. He honestly should send him like a fruit platter. So I'm like, thank God you took me out of the heat for the day. <laughs>